what do you think is the overarching theme for this season? If last year Oliver was trying to, you know, I think we'll say a lot. It's interesting because we all sometimes have different words or expressions for it, even between like Mark and, and Andrew and myself. You know, um, I've always felt like Oliver to survive on the island had to lose his humanity. Uh, or had to, you know, and, and so so much of the show for me has been about can you can a prisoner of war come back from that, you know, and, and I regain that. And so every year it's, you know, last year it was all right, I'm going to give up killing and see if that makes me more human in a way. And this year I think it's about having an integrated life. Like, can he really have a life, you know, or is he just out there to fight crime? And, uh, you know, and, and, but can he have, can he introduce, you know, other elements into his life? So sometimes the guys say, well, it's how he's dealing with identity. Sometimes uh, I'd say it's sort of like, I, I think there's a lot this year of people trying to sort of save either their own soul or someone else's. Okay. I probably the best Again, is Team Arrow going to get a new lair this season? Uh, well, Oliver has to uh, find a new place to live. Uh, but uh, lair, we love the lair. I like the fat lair. Well, what will the financial troubles kind of mean for Oliver and Team Arrow as the season progresses? Um, you know, uh, it's definitely a new way of life for him. They'll find some other economic means from surprising places, and, uh, and uh, I'm not sure even yet uh, how much we've been able to amp up that mystery, but there, there's that. Uh, but no, he's not, it's not like the broke years. You don't, you don't feel that, I don't think. Can you tell us? The trailer yesterday, we saw that Lucy and Oliver were on a date, and then she found bloody on the table in that same red dress. So, can you tease a little bit about, like, what happened? Um, well, I, I, I mean, I guess I would say that, uh, you know, it's a, it, it is definitely a big part of the year in terms of, uh, you know, stuff we started to, we always like, I think, in the finale to kind of hint at some of the things we know we want to deal with or hope to deal with in the next season. Uh, and, and definitely their tension, romantic and otherwise, has been coming to a head. Uh, and, and I think so much of, uh, you know, uh, of who she is and what she means to him is sort of, in, in a lot of ways, uh, you know, represents like a whole other life, you know. And, uh, and so we'll, we'll get at some of that stuff in the beginning episodes. Can you talk a little bit about the situation at, at Queen Consolidated and what's going on there? Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a new gentleman, uh, Ray Palmer, who wants to buy Queen Consolidated uh, uh, for their tech, uh, in specific for their tech division. Uh, he find, figures out pretty soon uh, that there was an IT woman there who was then Oliver's assistant. Uh, who seemed to have a bizarre tra career trajectory at the company, so uh, he uh, he goes uh, looking for her and uh, and uh, wants her to be a part of the company. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I think we, the great thing with uh, with both Willa and Thea is to really sort of uh, show a whole new side, obviously, to her. Uh, you, we always say, and you've probably heard it from us a thousand times, like this is this person's island, you know, like but like this really here really is her island. <laughs> but I think in terms of us showing kind of her uh, some of her growth and uh, the physicalization uh, of, of her abilities. Uh, there's certainly a blast to write, and uh, it's such a unique relationship. I, we haven't had anything like it on the show, and so I think we're kind of, uh, as we always are with anything that's new, that we kind of, you know, uh, that makes it really interesting, obviously, but also you're kind of like, well, how do we get this right, you know? Um, you know, we, we uh, it's, it's, it's a neat dynamic to have on the, on the show, and I think it's going to pop this year in a big way, I hope. There's some serious new Big Bad coming. Yes. Um, how does that Big Bad and Malcolm, like, are they connected at all, and is Malcolm still going to be a bad episode? You know, Malcolm is who he is, and so he'll always have those... Uh, He'll always sort of be the, the devil you know. Uh, uh, but obviously he has this relationship now with Thea, which we'll learn more about. Um, I think that's, I think those complexities are a lot of what Oliver is going to be dealing with too this year in terms of like, you know, um, 
sort of in some ways is kind of a sheriff, and there's this like you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, a bad guy's come back into town, but he can't quite get rid of him. You know, obviously the first step in that is going to be uh, Oliver figuring out, finding out that he's alive. So we'll have to we'll have to deal with that.